guys, it's Kansas here with Bria Reese and I have a video for you today where I will be showing you how to use acrylic paint along with some acrylic paper that Bria Reese has. So the first thing I'm going to do is just tear a sheet of paper out and that's what I love about these new paper pads that Bria Reese has. They also have one for watercolor and one for mixed media as well. Um, so I'm just going to take a piece of sh a sheet of paper out of this pad and I have next to me a plate, just a ceramic plate and I think that's great to use when you are painting with acrylics. You can use a ceramic plate or a piece of glass from a frame. It just makes the cleanup process easier because you can scrape the paint right off of the glass or the plate. Now I also have a fresh glass of water and I am going to be showing you how I use different colors in the Brights palette to paint a spring tree. So now I have pulled out the colors that I'm going to use and I'm using hot pink, rose, white for the um, blooms that are on the tree and then I'll also be using um, a mixture of plum which I'm putting down here plum, lake blue, yellow orange, and yellow. So what I'm doing here is I'm mixing the plum as well as the yellow because I want to create a brown shade. So I'm gonna mix these two together and you'll see in a little bit, I'm gonna add a little bit of orange and also just a little bit of black. You don't wanna add too much black because it'll really darken your color, but I'm doing just enough so that I can get a nice brown shade for my tree bark. And on the other side, I'm taking this yellow orange and also I'll be adding in lake blue just to make a deeper shade of green for my grass. And now I'm gonna speed the rest of this mixing process up so you can see how I mix the colors together. Okay, so here I am beginning to paint out the tree bark. And one of the things that you wanna remember when painting with acrylics is that you have to move very quickly because unlike oil paints, acrylics dry very fast and unlike watercolor, you can't re-wet them. But the good thing about acrylic paint is that it's very opaque and you can't see the paper through it, the paper or the canvas, through the paint unless you want that kind of a look and you don't layer the paint on too heavily. So now I'm just laying down the paint and I'm painting in the branches for the tree and just going upwards in a squiggly motion and also I'm laying down the paint kind of light so that I can have a little bit of white showing through just for some highlight. And now I'm just adding in some yellow to my brown shade and that's just gonna give me a nicer highlight. And as you can see here, I'm also taking my finger and I am dabbing the color out just to blend it a little bit better. Now I am going to start working on the blooms of my tree and I'll be using the hot pink and the rose for this and also a little bit of white. So right here, you can see I took the mixture of the pink and the rose just to give myself a medium shade so I'll lay this down first as you can see here and again I'm taking my finger just to dab it out a little bit to blend it better. And like I said with this process, well with using acrylic paints you have to move very quickly because it dries fast. But the beauty of it is that you can continuously lay down layers on top of layers and you can also add white on top and it'll shine brightly through. So now I'm going in and I'm mixing the rose with the white to make a lighter shade of pink. And I'll lay that on top of my medium shade just to give it some highlight. And then lastly, I'll go in with a mixture of the hot pink and white to give it a little bit of shadow. Finally, the last thing to do is to add in a little bit of grass. And you can see that I've already started that here with my colors um, yellow orange, lake blue, and I also added in a little bit of lime to add on top of the darker shade just to give it some highlight and a little bit of depth. And this is the finished piece. 
So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel. And also if you have any questions on how to use acrylic paints or if you need any more tips and tricks, please comment in the section below and we will be sure to get back to you. Thanks so much for watching you guys. Bye.